and then I was in my room one day. Oh, I had just gotten dumped to shortly after moving in, and uh, my roommates were pretty loud. They stayed up all night partying and had people over that ate my food and stuff. So uh, I was not very happy, and then um, so I had this guitar bit that I had not done anything with, and I sat there in my room one day and started drinking, and I wrote this song. <laughs> hey, I'm a sucker for your face shows, well, the ones that I was old enough to go to, um, and we got him to come in. Um, it was just like me and a bunch of other bands from Halifax I've been writing and um, wanted to do some demo recording, so we were doing that in Halifax at this um, Buddhist school in like their little gym room, and um, he came in to listen to a bunch of the songs and um, gave, gave us a little talk on music and stuff like that, and he... He said he really liked my song, Eden, which was the one that I played for him. Um, and nothing really came of it for years. And then when I was 20, he, his manager, Sherry, who's now my manager, called me and invited me to this songwriting camp. And I had no idea how she knew who I was or knew I was a songwriter because I wasn't doing anything with music, really. I didn't know what to do. And um, I got there and asked her, and she said, oh, Joel Plaskett um, told me about you. And I was like, how? Did he remember my name for years and then recommend me for this? So, uh, and then she was like, when we get back to Halifax, I'll have to hook you guys up. And then she did, and that's how the record kind of got started. $5,000 one day, I wouldn't have been so miserable. <laughs> 